So you want to get into cyber security. You are thinking of jumping into cyber. Thing is, you're not sure where to start. In this video, we're going to break down top three beginner friendly cyber security certifications. I'm going to talk about the cost, recognition, the real world value, and which one actually pushes you further in your career. Let me first start with Google Cyber Security Professional Certification. Now, let me tell you guys that this course is very perfect for newcomers and absolute beginners. It's very friendly for those who are just getting started. Now, in the course, you will uh, study subjects such as foundations of cyber security. You will also learn about the threats, risks, vulnerabilities, Linux commands, and SQL basics, security tools, and maybe seen. So basically here, uh, in the detection and response, you will learn about these, the SOC analyst workflow, and also you will learn uh, how to automate tasks with Python. So this course combines practical aspects with theory. It's very practical. It's not that very practical. I mean, it's not that deep. However, it covers the basics. And basically, it contains enough theory to uh, give you the uh, what you need to get started. Now, basically, you might have zero IT experience, but you will find this course easy to follow. The lab, actually, or the labs, uh, make the concepts that you learn click very easily. As to the cost of this certification, so basically, you will pay $49 a month for the Coursera subscription. If you pay $49, you'll be able to access all the uh, programs, including the Google Cybersecurity certifications. It's free to enroll, uh, seven day full access. You'll get access to the contents, but if you completed the course in under seven days, um, you will not have the certification. You will only get access to the content. In order to get the cert, you can have to pay for a monthly subscription. So let's say that you dedicated uh, maybe three months to finish the Google Cyber Security Certification. So you multiply three times 49, and you will end up with $147. Three months access, $147, you get the certification. According to this article on LinkedIn, uh, Google claims there is $93,000 median entry level salary across certificate fields and more than 1.8 million job postings in these subject areas. So uh, this uh, this claim means that Google has Google certifications are now recognized in the industry. Google has also partnered with employee employers seeking job candidates in these fields and offers connections to more than 50, 150 companies through the Google Career Certificates Employer Consortium. Meaning if you get any of the Google's uh, certifications, including the cybersecurity one, you should be able to have a foothold in the job market and you should be able to apply to jobs. That's uh, when we talk about the career in recognition. Now, if you go back to the course page and we click on the outcomes, you see it prepares you for a career as a cybersecurity analyst. Now, some people reported that they are ready to work as a maybe tier one SOC analyst or junior SOC analyst after getting Google cyber security. However, if you scroll down and based on the frequently asked questions, uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a question, will completing the certificate prepare me for the CompTIA Security Plus exam? The Google Cyber Security Certificate helps you prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus exam, the industry leading certification for cyber security roles. So which means that Google Cyber Security Certificate alone, I mean, uh, is not enough. And that's how they phrase it. It prepares you for CompTIA Security Plus, so it's better combined with CompTIA Security Plus. It's going to give you an advantage over someone who only has CompTIA Security Plus. So, the final verdict or the final question is Google Cyber Security Certification industry recognized in the industry? The question is, it is growing. It is not absolutely recognized like the CompTIA Security Plus. However, it is growing and it may actually, uh, you will get the HR attention. But alone, I think it is not enough. You're going to have to combine it with uh, other certification, more than just Google Cybersecurity Professional. Additionally, uh, the, 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 the course doesn't have a proctored exam. The exam is not proctored. Basically, you finish the uh, quizzes in every uh, related course. You finish the peer reviews assignments, the hands-on labs, and you will get the cert. So there is no final strict certificate exam such uh, as uh, seen in CompTIA Security Plus. Now, according to Coursera, when they first launched the program or the Google Cyber Security Professional Certificate, they mentioned that once you are enrolled or once you finish the cert, you will have an access to an ex ex exclusive job platform with 150 plus employers hiring for entry level roles. 
and that's only for uh, those who are based in the US. So yes, Google Cybersecurity Certification, upon finishing this program, you will have an advantage or you will have a foothold in the job market. It will give you the attention uh, of uh, HRs and recruiters, and maybe you will get hired if uh, the firm is just getting started or if it's a small firm. I'll tell you, it's easy peasy. Now let's talk about Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. Now from the beginning, hands down, this certificate is very practical, but what practical knowledge you will gain? You will gain practical knowledge on how to work with uh, Microsoft products, specifically the products used for real world SOC uh, analyst tasks. For example, here, if you go to the curriculum of this course, you'll be able, you'll be able to see what products uh, you will learn. So basically you will learn about Microsoft Defender, Azure AD, or Azure Active Directory, you also learn about Microsoft Sentinel. Microsoft Defender, Azure Active Directory, or even Microsoft Sentinel are tools produced by Microsoft and actually used in the context of security operations. Uh, so basically, in Microsoft Cyber Security Analyst, you will learn, you will learn practical, uh, you will have access to practical labs, but only labs that contain tools produced by Microsoft. So this certificate is actually good and it is practical only if you want to learn about or how to use Microsoft uh, security products, Defender, Sentinel, Azure Active Directory. It's very actually uh, relevant if you earn a certificate and apply for a job that requires you to use these tools, Defender, Sentinel, or Azure Active Directory. And at the end, the course claims that it prepares you for the Microsoft SC900 exam. That's how the certificate looks like when you I finish the course. Now, as to the cost of the program, again, in Coursera, you pay $50, approximately $50, $49 a month, and you will have access to all of the professional uh, certificate programs. However, it depends on your pace. If you finish the course maybe in two months, okay, you will uh, have paid around approximately $100. The more time you take finishing the course, the more money you will be spending on the monthly subscription. Now, the exam of this program, again, it is not procured. It is not considered as an official exam. You will have access to labs and you will finish the quizzes. And there is also a final capstone where you will have, a, you will have to do some uh, project using Microsoft tools and then send the results to be reviewed. So it is not completely procured. I got bad news and bad news. Give me the bad news first. Bad if you pass this program alone, it's not going to uh, do anything, right? It's not going to give you an advantage. It will just teach you the practical knowledge. However, if you uh, take this program, finish it, and then apply or uh, sit for the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst SC900 certification, you will start to have an advantage. If you go to Indeed here, and we search for SC900 certification, we can see we have 50 plus jobs. So it is slightly, uh, there is a some sort of demand, however, not that much, but there is a, we cannot say that there is no demand for this certification. There is, but it is not like CompTIA Security Plus. I'm, I'm saying if you are a newcomer. However, in ZipRecruiter, I found more than 1,000 jobs mentioning the certification name, SC900. However, these are jobs or remote jobs in the US. We specify the location here as maybe only USA. Um, let's see Europe, Germany. We also have some, as you can see, 643 job listings mentioning the certification. Name. So let's go back. Earning this program alone will not give you an advantage. You will have to use the knowledge gained from this program as a preparation leverage and sit for the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst SC900 exam. Trust me, it's gonna be legendary. Okay, now it's time to talk about CompTIA Security Plus. And we talked about this certification a lot in the past uh, videos. Security Plus is the most widely known or most widely recognized entry-level cybersecurity certification. So basically, as you know, guys, the, the exam of uh, CompTIA Security Plus is more focused on uh, broad aspects of cybersecurity. Risk management, secure network architecture, instant response, cryptography, PKI, identity and access management, threat detection, and so on. Um, you can find the exam domains here. These are the domains with the weight of every domain in the exam. As you can see, the more or the most weight goes to security operations. Now, it's very important to note that CompTIA Security Plus is a theoretical uh, certification. 
Okay, it doesn't contain labs. There are no uh, training on Linux commands or uh, how to uh, uh, maybe conduct queries in a Steam solution. You will learn about all of these in a theoretical fashion. It's very important to put this in mind. And also the course is vendor neutral, meaning you will learn the, uh, the concepts and foundations in cybersecurity, not necessarily related to a specific product like in Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst or IBM Cybersecurity Analyst, where you will learn about uh, Microsoft products used in security operations. In Contact Security Plus, it is new vendor neutral, meaning you're not tied to one company's tools or platform. The exam is not a joke. It's no joke. Study hard, uh, but at the end, you'll get a certificate that's well respected across the industry. Okay, now the cost of the exam as of today, it is $392. Uh, dollars. And basically, the exam is multiple choice and we have performance based. In the exam, you will have 90 minutes. And basically the exam is proctored. Uh, you must pass the 90 minute exam in a testing center or online via Pearson uh, VUE. So it's a proctored exam. All right, now how to study for Conti IS Security Plus. So to get started, you can buy the Conti IS Security Plus study guide. This is the official study guide. You can find it in Amazon. Or maybe you can get uh, the study guide or the study notes I created for the exam. Uh, it's a less shorter version than this study guide, but it contains everything you need. I will put the link of this study notes in the video description. Okay, let's talk about the number of job postings for the Conti IS Security Plus. Basically, I searched LinkedIn and I found that in the US alone, there are 84, around 84,000 results in the US alone. And here, uh, this article, or let's go to Indeed first. So in Indeed, I also searched with Conti IS Security Plus, and I found that there is over 6,000 jobs asking for Conti IS Security Plus. So it clearly has an advantage over Google Cyber Security. And here, this article in stationx.net, it is claiming that Conti IS Security Plus, or the average yearly salary of a Conti IS Security Plus holder is $57,000. That's the average yearly salary. Now, it may be a little bit more, a little uh, less, it depends on the location. So it's very clear that if your goal is to break into cybersecurity, obtaining the Security Plus certification uh, puts you in the frame for thousands of roles, as we saw earlier, across multiple disciplines, security analyst, engineer, SOC operations analyst, and more. It's flexible recognition and ubiquity actually make it a smart and practical credential for job seekers. So Google's cybersecurity or Conti IS Security Plus uh, if you can combine both, because remember that Google Cybersecurity has um, practical labs that you can learn, and it doesn't harm if you have these in your arsenal of knowledge. So basically, combining both will give you an advantage over someone who has only one of these. So at the end, which one of these certifications you should choose? Now, if you are new to cybersecurity and you want formal certification that is demanded and recognized everywhere, go for Conti IS Security Plus first, and then you can combine it with Google Cybersecurity or Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst. However, if you are after practical knowledge and you don't care about the recognition, go for Google Cybersecurity and go for Microsoft if you want to learn how to work on uh, Microsoft products created for the for roles such as security operations analyst.